Hello and welcome to English with LJ. I create content that is designed to help you improve your English and take you to the next level, regardless of what level that might be, whether it's A1, B1, or even C1. In this video, we are going to test your English. We are going to put your English to the test. We're going to look at idioms. Now, if you don't know what an idiom is, I would suggest going and having a look at my video where I explain what idioms are and how they are used in the English language. But in this video, we're going to look at idioms. I'm going to read you an idiom and you're going to see whether you can uh, understand if you know what that idiom actually means. Now, maybe you can even try to make a, a sentence using the idiom. So not only are we seeing whether you can actually uh, understand what the idiom means, but also can you use it in an English sentence? What I'll do is I'll read you the idiom and it will come up on screen so you can follow along, you can read. I'll give you a couple of seconds and then I will give you the answer. Now, if you need a little bit more time in order to uh, be able to understand or figure out what this idiom means and then create a sentence, just press pause and then press play when you're ready to go again. So let's go. Question one, bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. This means to face a difficult situation with courage and determination. To bite the bullet is to face a difficult situation with courage and determination. Now, did you know what this meant? And are you able to actually use it in an English sentence? Question number two is piece of cake. Idiom number two is piece of cake. And this means something that is very easy to do. If it's uh, very easy, then you can say it's a piece of cake. Question three is hit the nail on the head. Hit the nail on the head. And this means to describe something accurately or to do something correctly. Question four, cry over spilled milk. Cry over spilled milk. Now this means to worry or be upset about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. So if it's already happened and you cannot change it, you might cry over spilled milk. So were you able to actually create a sentence with this? Do you know what it means? Question number five, every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. And this means even in a difficult situation, there is some or something positive. So you can take something positive out of something that is difficult or is hard to do or a situation that is difficult. Cost an arm and a leg, number six. Cost an arm and a leg. And this means to be very expensive. So if something is very expensive, you would say this cost an arm and a leg. Number seven, hold your horses. Hold your horses. And this means to be patient and wait. So if you're being patient and you're waiting for something, you might uh, be holding your horses or somebody might tell you to hold your horses. Let the cat out of the bag. Number eight, let the cat out of the bag. And this is to reveal a secret. So if you let a secret out that was not meant to be told, you might have let the cat out of the bag. Number nine, under the weather. Under the weather. And this means not feeling very well or being sick or unwell. So if you're not feeling good, you're not feeling very well, you, would, you could be said to be under the weather. Question 10. 
Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. And this means to pay close attention and watch carefully. So if you're looking out for something and you're paying attention and you're looking very carefully for something, you might be, uh, it might be said to you're keeping your eyes peeled or somebody might say, keep your eyes peeled. Question number 11 is read between the lines. Question number 11, read between the lines. And this means to understand something that is not directly stated. So if it's something that somebody is saying, but they're they're trying to say something, but they're not being direct with it, but you can understand what they're actually meaning um, from what they're saying, you are reading between the lines. You are reading between the lines. A stitch in time saves nine. And this is question 12. A stitch in time saves nine. This idiom obviously rhymes. And it means taking care of a problem early can prevent larger problems later. So if you deal with something now rather than later, uh, you can be, it can be said a, a stitch in time saves nine. You're dealing with something now rather than waiting for it to become bigger, a, a bigger problem later on. And question 13, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. And this means don't make plans based on something that hasn't happened yet or even something that may not happen. And so you're already taking into account that thing that may not happen or it hasn't happened. And so you would, people would say, don't count your chickens before they hatch. How did you do? Did you know these idioms? Were you, are you able to utilize them? Let us know in the comments how many you got correct. Uh, or is it something that you need to look at a little bit more? Uh, idioms. English people do use idioms on a regular basis. So let us know in the comments. Maybe in your language, you have your own idioms. Maybe they actually mean the same thing. Maybe in, in your language, you have something very, very similar. So let us know, put them into the comments uh, and we'll look at them. If there's something uh, also that a video that you would like me to create, if there's a content that you want me to go over, again, let me know in the comments and I will see whether it's something I can create. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe as well. Uh, this will keep you up to date when I create new videos. If you would like to um, become a uh, part of our my Patreon, you can do so. I have three different tiers. There are there's a lot of material available on my Patreon, uh, and you can go there. there like you say, there's a, a lot of material that will help you improve your English. Um, there, I also have an ebook available that is designed to take you from, if you're A1 level, around A2 level, is to kind of take you from A1 to A2 or cement your your level as A2. Uh, I have an ebook course that is available. You can uh, get that off of Amazon, off of most Amazon channels. You can download it. Uh, it is free if you become part of Patreon. It's there available, like I say, a, along with a lot of other material as well. So if that's something that you would like to um, see, then maybe you can have a look at our Patreon. The link to the book, to the ebook and the Patreon is in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.